HIV, one of the most devastating viruses, has so far claimed the lives of about 39 million people worldwide. Despite the development of various drugs to combat this virus, we still do not have a cure. To understand why, let me first give you some background. Genetic information is stored in the form of DNA in almost all living organisms. But HIV is unique. It stores its genetic information in the form of RNA. RNA, like DNA and proteins, is an essential molecule found in all forms of life. Now, HIV is able to rapidly change its RNA to avoid being detected by our immune system as well as drugs. So the question now is, how do we outsmart HIV? The answer to this lies in a better understanding of what happens at the molecular level when HIV infects the human cell. This is the kind of research that my lab focuses on. The HIV RNA is huge, but within it, there is a region that does not change as easily as the other regions that are targeted by drugs. On closer inspection, we found that this region is able to trick a human protein into interacting with it. To understand how HIV was able to do this, we decided to look at the three-dimensional structure of this region. What we found was that this region of the HIV RNA was able to, sorry, this region of the HIV RNA looks exactly like a specific human RNA. The human protein just can't tell the difference between the true human RNA and the deceptive HIV mimic. Imagine this situation. Today I'm supposed to be presenting, but instead of me, someone else comes. She signs in, presents her work, interacts with all of you. Would any of you know the difference? No. Of course, she would have to look like an Indian, otherwise it might seem a little strange. <laughs> this is exactly what HIV does. We believe that by disguising itself as a human RNA, HIV is able to interact with the human protein and efficiently infect the human cell. We hope that this information will help in the development of drugs that can selectively target the HIV mimic, reduce the chances of drug resistance, and hopefully take us one step closer to curing HIV infection. Thank you.